steam engine for its type is the fastest land vehicle. And the steam team are the power behind freight and express services that make up the Northwestern Railway. This is the Northwestern Adventures. In 1956 a diesel called Diesel 10 showed up to the island. While nice at first, he quickly got a reputation for sabotaging the engines and causing three engines a trip to the works. One of which would never fully recover. This began the spiral of hate the soda engines would feel against diesels. But in 1957, the new controller needed an engine to fill in for Stanley since he was still getting overhauled. But as steam engines were starting to get withdrawn at the time on British railways. But the new controller didn't give up on finding an engine. But when the diesel shunter was the only engine available at the time, the new controller had no choice but to put him on trial. The engines were less than enthusiastic when they heard that a diesel could possibly be working on the railway full time. Edward was talking to Murdoch at Barrow about this. You're worried about one diesel coming to Soder? Where I'm from, there are dozens of diesels showing up every month. I just hope I can be preserved. I haven't been around it long. But you've been around for 60 years. That's longer than us standard class engines will ever get. Some of us are already being withdrawn. Sorry to say that it might be true. Steam engines on British railways are no longer up to date. Then Edward sadly took the train away. He spent a few extra minutes talking to Murdoch so now he was running late. I can't be late again. I have to prove to Sir Topham Hat that I'm still really useful. So Edward began to go faster. Until... What the frick crack track is this? Were you aware of how fast you were going? What are you doing Charlie? Mickey began teaching me how to be a train cop and today is my first day on patrol. How long have you been learning? About two weeks. Mickey says I'll be a full-time engine cop by 1970. Isn't that exciting Edward? It sure is Charlie. Anyway I have to be going now. Bye. Bye Edward. Wait a minute. I forgot to write him a ticket. When he got to the station he saw a black engine sitting next to him. It was unlike anything Edward had ever seen. What's this I see? An old teapot setting in the station? Us diesels were always better in every way anyway. We're always on time. Never late. I was being held up on the main line. Might I ask, who are you? We diesels aren't given names like you but everyone calls me diesel. Just diesel. Yeah. All the diesels on the mainland are just given numbers. Like diesel 199, 261, 7101. 10. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. I'm mainly a shunting engine. Like that engine over there. His name is Duck. Duck? What a silly name for an engine. I did come alone but another diesel should be showing up in a few weeks. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to introduce myself to this Duck engine. <laughs> So you're Duck? Sure am. You a fan? No. Are you the visiting Diesel? Visiting is probably not the right word. But I am on trial. If I pass, I get to stay here. So what are you doing? I was going to take that old lot of scrap trucks to the scrapyard but Gordon needs his express coaches. I need you to take them there. Is that a problem? Of course not. We Diesels are revolutionary. Well if you're revo thingy-gummy, this should be no issue. Then Duck left to get Gordon's coaches. Diesel surveyed the trucks. 
I'll show Duck that diesels are better. Taking a simple train of scrap is nothing compared to what we are capable of. We diesels are. Will you quiet up over there? You are just a shunting diesel. Not the flying Scotsman. What are you? I'm Neville. I'm one of the local passenger engines. Why do you look like that? Look like what? A diesel. What's with your shape? My class was designed like this so we could fit into coach cleaners more easily since there weren't enough people around to clean us back then. It was the 1940s. You know what I think you are? What? An imposter. Ha ha ha. Little black weasel. Neville puffed away angrily. He was proud of his unique shape. Diesel tried to back down onto the scrap trucks but they started singing a song based on what Neville had said. The trucks were still singing when Duck got back. He was horrified and decided to show the trucks who was in charge. James, Gordon, and Henry were in the station watching the situation in the yard. Diesel was angry and tried to take his anger out on others. You did this. You made them laugh at me. Me? What did I do? If you took the scrap trucks away, this wouldn't have happened. Nonsense. We engines have our differences but we never talk about them to the trucks. That would be disgraceful. Disgusting. Despicable. Diesel puffed into the shunter shed where Fergus was sleeping. What was that noise? Who goes there? Miss me Fergus? <laughs> That's what I thought. I haven't been here two hours and four engines are already against me. Was it because I tried to blame Duck? I have to think of a plan to turn the engines against each other. Perfect. Have you trucks heard about James, Gordon, and Henry? No we haven't. Well I'll tell you. It was getting late and Duck was on his way to the sheds. He was very tired and looked forward to getting a good night's sleep. But when he got to the sheds, he saw Gordon, Henry, and James blocking his way to the sheds. Can I come through? No. Go sleep in the freight shed. What's going on here? You told lies about us to the trucks. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. This went on for a few minutes when the new controller showed up. What's going on here? Duck called me a galloping sausage. I'm old square wheels. He called me rusty red scrap iron. Is this true Duck? I only wish sir that I came up with those names myself. The new controller's attention shifted to Diesel who was just appearing out of the shed. Diesel. Did you hear about all the things Duck told the trucks? I can't believe it either sir. Of all the engines, I never expected Duck to do such a thing. Duck. I need you to shun that Wellsworth for a while. Maybe that will teach you for starting rumors about the others. Duck puffed sadly away. Diesel left the sheds and went to the yard where the trucks were. We did it. Duck is now gone. I couldn't have done it without your help. Duck's been scrapped. What? No. Not yet at least. I just got him sent away by making him take the blame for all this stuff I told you. I think Sir Topham Hat is beginning to see the usefulness of diesel engines. Soon diesels will be everywhere. We have to fix this. But how? Nobody listens to us trucks. We'll just have to try. The chance for diesels come up and came sooner than you might think. An engine was needed in the yard while Duck was away. Stafford was brought in from the newly reopened Peel Godred branch line to do his work. He met Diesel for the first time here. You don't look like any engine I've seen before. Same to you. Are you electric? Yes I am. I'm proud of being the only electric engine on Soder. Well I'm proud of being the only diesel engine on Soder. I think we can be great friends.
we stand together against steam engines. So Diesel and Stafford worked together nicely for a few days. But when the shunting jobs grew, Percy was brought in to assist. Diesel didn't like that at all. He wanted Percy to be sent away just like Duck. So he decided to do what he did with Duck. Tell lies about the other engines. So he decided to start with lies about Henry. He rolled up to the trucks and started telling them lies. But unknown to Diesel and the trucks, Stafford was resting in the shed with Charlie. They had heard everything. Charlie. Can you believe this? Huh? What is it Stafford? Duck didn't tell those awful things about the engines. He was framed by Diesel. Why are you telling me this? Aren't you training to be an engine cop? Oh yeah. I have to tell the police chief about this. Mickey? No. We have to take this straight to the top. Boss. We have an engine crime going on at Natford. This is Ming. He was bought by the new controller in 1954. He is the island's police chief. With his help Railgate Engine Prison was built. The maximum time an engine can spend is 30 days. What kind of crime? The criminal framed an engine for saying mean things about the other engines. How much jail time would that get him boss? 10 days in Railgate at least. Take me to him right away Charlie. We'll probably need Mickey to help take the criminal away. So Charlie took Ming and Mickey to Napford where Diesel was sitting in the shed. Percy and Henry were also there. Henry was angry at Percy. Why would you say such mean things about me to the trucks? I didn't do anything. I was just getting Fergus's cement train ready. Wait until Sir Topham Hat finds out about this. Finds out about what? Percy called me a tunnel dweller. Did not. Oh yeah right. So you're saying you were framed? He's not wrong. What? I was just joking. Someone framed you just like they framed Duck. Duck was framed too? Great. Now I feel guilty. So if Duck and I were framed? Who told those lies? That engine right there. Diesel. What? That's silly. An engine overheard what you said to the trucks and told Charlie. But who could have done it? That's enough from you. Take him away guys. Okay boss. I made my first arrest today. Diesel was sentenced to 10 days in Railgate. He was in fact the first engine to be locked up in Railgate. But when he got out, Duck had already returned from Wellsworth. The other engines wanted nothing to do with him. The new controller had to send him packing. The engines never trusted any diesel after that. Which was bad as two really friendly diesels were on their way to Soder. But that is for next time. 